Hey everyone, really cool for me to be doing this video because tonight I'm going to be opening Avery Brown Dredge, which is the beer that Zach Avery, Pete Brown and myself brewed and designed up at Brewdog. Um, we did it at the end of January, it's finally ready. We had the launch night last night simultaneously at the Rake, the Jolly Butchers in North London and North Bar in Leeds. Um, and the, the keg of the Rake sold out in less than an hour, I know the others sold really quickly as well. So I've got the bottle. So I thought I'd open it and make a little video. I'm drinking a bottle of Can Punk, by the way. Mm. Love it. So, Avery Brown Dredge. We had the freedom of the brewery. They said to us, we want you to come up and make a beer, make whatever you want. We, uh, the only condition was nothing sour. So that's fine. So we bounced ideas around and eventually we come up with the idea of an Imperial Pilsner. Um, we threw around different ideas with different hops and eventually we just come to the conclusion that let's just go all Noble and let's just go all SARS. So this is 7.5%. It's the, the official term is it uses a shit tonne of malt and a shit tonne of SARS hops. There's 50 kilograms of hops in a 20 hectolitre brew um, and about a tonne and a half of uh, power malt and a little, bit, a little bit of wheat to give that lovely head. Um, the other idea behind the beer is, as we've written on the label, it's tradition, homage, revolution. So it's about the tradition. So it's the tradition of lagers, classic lagers, pale, um, and there are loads of sars hops, noble hops. Um, the homage, it's about um, the beers that we love and wanting to make beers like it. So Dogfish Head and my uh, Dogfish Head and Beer de Bogo's My Antonia, uh, the Sharps or Val uh, Michel Rock, which is 100% sars. It's about kind of these beers that we love and we wanted to kind of try out our own version of it. Uh, and then the revolution, you know, we're at Brewdog, they're kind of pushing the boundaries in, in the UK and, you know, around the world in terms of what they're doing. So that's very much the revolution. And, you know, and it's, a, it's a lager, it's, it's a classic lager recipe, just made a lot bigger. So that's kind of the revolution. So, yeah, it pours a kind of a proper caramel, there's quite a lot of colour on it, big old head. The aroma is really subtle, you can see it's 75 by BU and there's a load, a load of dry hop in there. And it is pretty subtle. So you're gonna get kind of you're getting like this this herbal quality, um, peaches and apricots. I got a lot of that yesterday. I'm definitely getting it now, and there's definitely kind of some kind of this delicious kind of fruity orange flavour in there. And it's a big bit. It does taste at seven and a half percent. In terms of it's got this the botanical bitterness of gin. It's got that kind of dry bitterness. But it's incredibly drinkable, very smooth. There's kind of this classic kind of malty caramel flavour coming through. And then the hops just keep on building and building and growing and growing. It's fantastic to have so many noble hops in uh, in a beer like this, and then all get the dry hop on top of it. It's a big beer. It's full bodied. It's it's in your face, but it's just it is a big lager. Um, it is just an amplified version of um, of a lager, and I, you know, I, I'm biased obviously because my name's on the label, but you know, I think it's great, and it's great to see Sars Hops used in such a such an intense way, such a big way, kind of just blown up as you know, so much more than they would be. You're getting that there is like a subtle orangey, orange pith character. You're getting other kind of stone fruits. There's a herby quality to it. It's fantastic. I'm, I know there aren't many bottles around, so not, you know, hopefully, hopefully everyone who wants to try it will get to try it. They're going to be on online at the Brewdog shop soon. There might be a few in a couple of beer stores around, so if you can get it, get hold of it and let me know what you think. Send me a message. You know, uh, send me a message on Twitter, have a look at the blog, whatever. But yeah, so Every Brown Dredge, a beer that we designed and brewed at Brewdog, and it's finally here, and my name's on the label, and I bloody love it. Cheers.